Hello students, welcome to the YouTube channel Eternal EC Education. In this session, you are going to learn Chapter 4 Hypertext Preprocessor, simply called as PHP. Today, the content you are going to learn is Network, Client Server Network, Client Server Architecture, PHP. What is a network? Network is a collection of computers, servers, network devices, mainframes, peripherals or other devices connected to one another to allow sharing of data. The concept internet is a wide range and each one is using internet for any, any one of the purpose for education, for online banking, to search any information. Many things we are using the internet. But the base is network. Without the network concept, we cannot use the internet today. So simply, network is a collection of computer and other devices which are related with the computer, which allows sharing of data. Next concept. What is client server network? Same collection of computers, but one computer will act as a server which is having a powerful configuration and the others which are connected with that is said to be client. This server will have the rights to control the client. Here also sharing of data is possible, but one will act as a head. That is the difference between normal network and client server network. Next we need know what is Client server architecture model. This is having single, two, or multi tier architecture. What is the meaning for this? Client computer and the file system where the content is accessed happen at one place or one machine itself. That is said to be single tier architecture. This architecture is used for the server accessed by the client. The client application runs inside the serv server machine itself. That means our MS Office, for example, it is running in a CPU and it is working only with one use of the CPU. It can be open, editor, uh, we can create a new document, we can close, we can delete everything. All the manipulations are possible within one place. Then what is two-tier architecture? This architecture is used for the server accessed by the client as two-layer interaction. Here there is a separation between the client and the database server. How the separation happens? What is the uh, working principle? You take an example of a multi-speciality hospital. When you enter into the hospital, in the reception itself, they will collect some detail patient detail, for example, name, age, phone number, everything. And it is stored in a database. You know, database is a collection of information in the format of table. And the, the form where they fill the requirements is said to be the client side or the front end. When they press the save or submit button, all the details are stored in a database format in a, a database software then that is said to be database tier. So there will be two things of interaction. One is front end, one is back end. Next is the multi-tier architecture. Here also same client and database will come, but the communication between the two client and the database will take place in many steps. It is not a physical thing. It is a Mm, logic or uh, the content or the process inside that. So there will be many stages or steps for the communication. Especially it will happen when there is a communication through the internet. For example, you know, consider your Amazon website. When you enter into the website, you simply give a word uh, OnePlus Mobile 4GB or 6 GB like that and then you will press the search button. If you press the search button, you will get many results based on that. 
So the front page where you typed and press the save button is said to be client side. So you are giving one request. I need information regarding OnePlus mobile. The request is given to the database server. In the database, all the things are in a tabular format. From the tabular format, all the records related with OnePlus is fetched and it is post and it is retrieved and displayed in the front screen then you can scroll and view all the details so you are simply sitting in your computer and working but the content which you are displayed on the system it is not actually present in your cpu it is somewhere else so but there is a communication there is a process there is a procedure to do that these are coming under multi-tier architecture Web application software that runs on a web server unlike computer based software programs that are stored locally on a computer operating system. You know this we have seen in previous video that is MS Office is run only in our uh, hard disk because that MS Office is installed in our hard disk and we are working. But when we search that means when we use the web applications or accessed by the user through the web browser with an active internet connections. So if I need to uh, open my bank, internet banking, then I need a network connection. In that browser, then only I have to type the app uh, URL address, then I will receive the bank transaction. The page will open. Simply it is a website. So website. It starts with a, a label of www. Anything which is starting with www. Dot, the name with dot com is said to be a website. It is actually a collection of web pages. Each web page is created by one of the scripting language. Now we are going to learn that that scripting language in PHP. PHP is a scripting language. So before starting that, we should know some of the terms which are related with that. So first we'll know what is web applications. Web applications are nothing but which is accessed through the web browser using internet connection. So you can understand what all the things are opened through the internet through a web browser is said to be a web application. Now to have that web application, we need a programming style. There are many programs. But there is a difference between the web scripting programs and other programs. The internet and web based online applications are performing very important role in business and entertainment industry. I hope you know this point very well because now all are using internet. No one is without internet connection or a smartphone. Each thing is happening through the internet. Even eBay bill or anything is paid through internet only. The legacy programming languages didn't meet out the expectations of latest internet concepts and executions. That means before the introduction of web scripting languages, which are the languages are in use, are not able to meet the expectations of web applications. If they want to create a program and run for the requirement, that programming content is not that much helpful. In earlier 90s, uh, a British scientist, Tim Bernsley, introduced World Wide Web concept. From the introduction, this concept required a new set of programming languages over the network communication. So you, to use this World Wide Web, we need a new set of programming. These programming languages are recently called as web scripting languages. So these very web scripting languages has many policies which is easy to handle and solve the critical business problems around the world. So to have online transaction or any other thing, these scripting languages are used to create a program for that. In later 90s, many web scripting languages was introduced to support the internet online business two decades decades the founder of microsoft bill gates gave a quote that is 
if your business establishment is not on the internet then your business will be out of business contest that means if you are not able to do your business in online if you are not able to convert it into online then you will be out of the race now we will learn what is php php is one of the most widely used or recognizable technologies in use on the internet originally it stood for personal home page p h p but now it is called as hypertext preprocessor this is used to create dynamic web page do you remember your html using html you can insert a image insert audio video you can have your radio button check box form come like a um, submit button clear button these options are available to create a static web page now we'll move for the dynamic web page actually html then c++ sorry html and css do you remember your learn standard i hope it's hard to remember um, but i think you will not forget html because it's interesting for you do you remember your mark you text which is able to scroll from left to right then javascript javascript is also used for uh, creating dynamic web page but there is a difference between javascript and php php can do the thing which is done with javascript and also more work when compared with javascript so we'll see what is php in detail in the next video a recap network group of computers client server network group of computers but one will act as a head which is called as a server others are client client server network architecture two tier three tier multi tier web scripting web applications are run through web browser these applications are created using web scripting languages php is one of the web scripting languages thank you for watching this video if you like this video subscribe this channel to watch the upcoming videos thank you have a good day